Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're gonna go over how to get FUBAR 2000, the famed Windows music player working on Linux. So <clears throat> there are two ways you can do this. You can download the exe file, and we cover that in the article, but in this guide here, in the, in the video version, we're gonna cover the snap package installation because if you do the snap package installation, it's so much easier it takes care of everything for you. So you need to be running a Linux distribution that uses Snap, and I'm using Ubuntu, but you can find information on how to get Snap going in the article in the description. Once you have Snap installed, you can just do Snap search FUBAR2000. Now once you do that, you can see here is the player. Now you can take this package name here, and you can do sudo snap install FUBAR2000. Enter your password, it's gonna download everything it needs and you'll be ready to go. Once the package is done installing, you can open up your app menu and search for FUBAR and it's everything is already set up. You can launch it like so. And uh, it'll take a couple seconds to open, but once it does, it'll be usable as any other app. And uh, even though it's Windows, since it's using a Linux runtime like the Wine Thing, it'll be able to run on your desktop just fine. All right, once the app launches, and like I said, it may take a bit of time to get going. This is just because it has to configure Wine. You can go through and you can pick your favorite layout and uh, click OK, and then it'll tell you how everything works, and you can go ahead and add a folder to your music if you'd like. Let me do that here. I have some music files in my Dropbox folder that I use for testing and stuff. All right, so now it'll load it up and then it'll tell you where the file locations are and you can play and listen to your favorite music through FUBAR as if you were running it on Windows. Very, very useful. I used to use this app when I used Windows back in the day. It's pretty nice that you can get it going so easily on Linux. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.